the Scottish military engineer and mapmaker Colin Mackenzie was standing in front of a huge circular mound entirely made up of large bricks. This was early 1797 and he had come to the place called Deeper Dimmer or Hill of Lights. He had received a report of antiquities discovered on the banks of Krishna River by a local landlord. This was an accidental discovery of the great Amravati Stupa when the workers of the landlord started to dig a large mound. The brick mound was surrounded by large marble pillars with some of the most beautiful carvings. What Mackenzie had witnessed was perhaps the best example of Buddhist art in India. But even Mackenzie had no idea of the significance of the Grand Chaitya of Amravati, which he initially misunderstood as some Jain site. A year before his visit, the local landlord had shifted his residence from Chintanpalli to Amravati and he invited people to settle there. Mackenzie returned to the same mound in March 1816, but now he was the surveyor general of East India Company. He had come with an army of workers and surveyors. He was dismayed at the view of the site. He found the site destroyed beyond recognition. The central core of the mound was dug out to make a large water tank. Three-fourths of the decorated stones were missing. The beautifully decorated slabs of the stupa were taken out to be used as building materials in three nearby temples and several mosques. Before being used in the mosques, the historical carvings, thousands of years old, were all erased from the face of slabs. Other slabs were carelessly used in making steps for the water tank in the center of the supa. Several nearby mounds were destroyed for building material or in search of suspected treasures. Mackenzie could easily make out that what he was looking at was the plundered remains of one of the greatest architectural marvels of India, which during its glory period was perhaps even more magnificent than the newly discovered Dhamek Stupa of Sarnath. Mackenzie left with some drawings of the site and slabs to be placed at a museum in Kolkata. Before the arrival of the next surveyor, a large part of whatever has been left out at the site has been burned to make lime. But perhaps the worst damage to the Amravati site was done by the reckless excavations of later British surveyors. The Grand Chaitya of Amravati is situated around 35 kilometers from the town of Guntur. The Stupa of Amravati was founded in the 3rd century BC during the time of Emperor Ashoka. The addition of railings and calf slabs around the stupa were undertaken during the 2nd and 1st centuries BC. It saw the third phase of construction between 50 BC and 250 AD during the late Satvahana period. The Mahachatya is one of the largest Buddhist structures in India which is 158 feet in diameter. Amravati remained one of the greatest centers of Buddhism in India for the next several centuries. As late as the 14th century, the Buddhist settlement survived in Amravati and it remained a major center of Mahayan Buddhism. This was also an important inland port town situated close to Dhanyakatika, the capital city of the Satvahana kings. With the decline of Buddhism in India, Amravati's Mahachatya fell into disuse and was lost in dust and debris only to be rediscovered in 1797.